Hello and welcome to module three of the ITIL 4 Service Disk Practice Certification Training. Module three is about the organizations and people dimension of the service disk practice. The exam syllabus includes the service disk manager role and the service disk agent role descriptions, and also the how to position the service disk practice within the overall organization structure, meaning the, the type of the service disk team, such as virtual, local, distributed, hybrid, etc. Therefore, you will be able to identify competencies required for all service disk activities and their relevant roles within the organization and explain the organization's solutions or the structures for the service disk practice. We begin with understanding briefly the competency model within ITIL. ITIL uses the LACMT competency model. This is described in detail in the ITIL 4 DPI certification course, the direct plan and improve course. L, it begins with L leader, A administrator, C coordinator or communicator, M for methods and techniques expert, and T the technical experts. You can use this competency model to create an acronym for a specific role. Uh, for example, if a role has the acronym ALC, it means A is the key competency needed for that role followed by L and then followed by C. On the other hand, if, if you have a role that has the competency acronym TMC, then the primary competency needed would be the technical expert competency followed by the M competency and then followed by the C competency. So the first letter in a competency profile indicator includes the, the most required competency for that individual or for the role. Leader is basically about decision-making, delegating, overseeing other activities, providing incentives and motivation to people and evaluating their outcomes. The administrator competency is about assigning and prioritizing tasks, record keeping, ongoing reporting and initiating basic improvements. The communicator or the coordinator one is about coordination between multiple parties, maintaining communications between stakeholders and running awareness campaigns for stakeholders. Methods and Techniques Experts focuses on designing and implementing work techniques, documenting procedures, providing consulting on processes, performing work analysis, and continual improvement activities. The Technical Expert focuses on providing technical or subject matter expertise and conducting expertise-based assignments. The ITIL practice guides, all of them, that is, do not describe the practice management roles such as practice owner, practice lead, or practice coach but they focus instead on the specialist roles that are specific to each practice. For example, here we will be going into the details of the service desk manager and the service desk agent roles. The structure and naming of such roles may differ from one organization to another. So any roles that we define in ITIL should not be treated as mandatory or even recommended. Also remember that the roles are not job titles because a person with a specific job title can take on multiple roles uh, of those defined in ITIL, or even one role can be assigned to multiple people. And these roles are described in the context of processes and activities they perform. Each role is characterized with a competency profile based on this LACMT competency model. And as I was mentioning earlier, a role may require many number of competencies and they are used in the order of importance from the most important to the less important competencies. For example, if it is an LCT profile, leadership becomes the most important competency, whereas the technical expertise is the relatively less important. But all the three letters, LCT, uh, all the three competencies are important uh, enough. So this model helps to understand the high level requirements for candidates, plan their professional development and form effective teams. So let's go into the, the two roles that are related to the service desk practice. We begin with the service desk manager. The responsibilities here are understanding of the skills and competencies required to fulfill the roles of the team in the service desk and other management practices. Then understanding, planning, and ensuring the capacity and performance of the service desk team. Then onboarding, training, development, and promotion of the service desk agents. Also creating and maintaining a healthy work culture within the service desk team. Then ensuring workload balance between activities of the service desk and other management practices. Then cooperation with other managers in the service value streams and review and continual improvement 
of the service desk practice. The service desk manager usually also acts as the service desk practice manager, ensuring that this practice uh, ongoing performance and continual improvement occurs. In this role, the service desk manager is also responsible for effective automation of the practice, its integration into the service provider's value streams, and also effective usage of the third party's resources. Then we have the service desk agent. The responsibilities here are as follows. To perform the service desk activities described in a previous module too, which is about the various service desk processes and the activities within those processes. Then act as a relationship agent, meaning ensuring a great user experience and high user satisfaction. Participate in the activities of other practices as needed within the context of the various service value streams. Then continually develop relevant skills and competencies. Uh, support the service desk manager in achieving the team's objectives and cooperate with other teams in the context of the service value team streams. So this service desk agent, also often called the service desk analyst, is a member of the service desk team. Some service desk teams have specialized group of agents focused on specific communication channels, specific products and services, or specific customers as well. Specific uh, service desk agents or all the service desk agents are usually involved in the activities of other practices, such as incident diagnosis and resolution under incident management or service request handling under the service request management practice or event handling under the monitoring and event management practice and so on. Which means they can be even involved in other practices such as release management or deployment management and so on. Service configuration management um, as a service configuration librarian to enter the configuration data, et cetera. Here is an activity for you. Normally these are done in a classroom setting in a group, but you can also reflect on this and try to perform them on your own when you have your own free time. Usually it will take 10 minutes in a group assignment, but you have the freedom to do it, um, take a longer time depending on your own work environment. Please relate to your own work environment to do this. And uh, for the exam though, uh, you will not have any activities to perform. It's a multiple choice exam as was explained at the beginning of this course. So you may want to identify the key skills and competencies uh, required for the, uh, the various activities of this practice in your own environment, and also suggest the most suitable roles or team member and teams uh, for your own uh, organization's environment, and also discuss possible challenges that might surface when you want to assign people within your organization to the practice roles.